This is Twit. What would an IoT device look like that had been taken over? That's something we've never talked about. Hmm. You know, we've talked a lot about the threat that's posed by the remote takeover of IoT devices. We, we know without any question that there are a great many very large bot fleets and that they're composed of, of individual unattended internet connected devices. Well, one of our listeners, Joe Lyon, sent me an image of a Twitter posting where the poster is rhetorically asking why his LG washing machine is using 3.6 gigabytes of data per day. Wow. <laughs> yeah, 3.6 gig. And he attached an image to his, his Twitter posting that was produced by some network monitoring tool showing that something on his network whose interface is labeled LG Smart Laundry Open <laughs> is indeed quite busy on the network. A little too smart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A little too smart for its own Just good. Just the damn clothes. And, I don't need and, to surf in the net while you're doing it. <laughs> and, you know, whatever's going on is, <laughs> is happening very uniformly for a full 24 hours. Because this chart that we've got on, on, on the show notes shows 24 hours of use with only one hour of the 24 showing a reduced total bandwidth during that hour so yeah there's you know certainly something sufficient there to raise suspicion now what also caught my eye was that the labels on the traffic flow show a download of 75 and a quarter or three quarters megabytes and like for the day and a whopping upload oh. of 3.57 gigabytes that's not good now Anyone who's worked with networking gear knows that it's very important to know which directions up and down are referring to. Cisco has always used, I was very pleased with them about this, the unambiguous terms in and out, as in traffic flowing into or out of a network interface. So if the interface is facing toward the internet, then traffic flowing out of it would be up toward the internet and traffic flowing into it would be down from the internet. But if the interface is facing inward toward, for example, connected to a local area network, then the meaning of in and out would be reversed. Okay, so without a bit more information about the network's configuration shown in this picture, we can't be 100% certain. But either the washing machine's networking system is badly broken, at, causing it to continuously download at a rate of three and a half gig of something per day, or, as does seem more likely given the evidence, the label upload, even though we cannot be certain what that means, you know, uh, suggests that this washing machine has probably become a bot in someone's army so it's busy doing its part uploading 3.6 gigabytes of junk on a continuous basis presumably nonsense traffic just causing some remote person grief that makes now see i saw this story and i thought well what could it po is it keeping track of what you what clothes you're washing <laughs> no no it's been compromised yes yeah yes. that makes that a lot would, more sense that would be the con that would be the conclusion this is what an iot device looks like when it's been compromised so this brings me to two final observations first since the typical consumer is not monitoring their local network's traffic in any way they would have no way of knowing that this was going on at all, ever. And given the closed turnkey nature of an LG washing machine, it's unclear how one would go about reflashing its firmware to remove the bot, even if you knew that one was in there. You know, it might be just living in RAM, in which case pulling the plug, counting to 10, and 
powering it back up might be all that's needed to, to, to flush it out of the system. But then the device might become re-inhabited again before long, as we know happens. So the only real solution would be to take the washing machine off the net, which brings me to my second point. What the heck is a washing machine doing, doing being connected internet. to the internet in the first place? Exactly. You know, <laughs> Is this another of those just because we can doesn't mean we should situations? You know, I've owned washing machines my entire adult life. After mom stopped, started, stopped, you know, washing my underwear for me, I took that over. The only thing any of them have ever been connected to is AC power. Uh, you know, so is it really necessary for us to initiate a rinse cycle while we're out <laughs> roaming around? somewhere or to be notified with a message delivered through an app when our clothes are dry but you that know? is the purpose of that i know i've seen him sell it that way like oh. you can control your washing machine from anywhere oh that's great yeah. so you know i get it you know that if all of that amazing functionality is free and included and you know these days it nothing costs anything anymore then why not set it up and get it on the internet but we're talking about this because of maybe why not to do that. Maybe something has crawled into that machine and not just because you needed to wash your clothes more often and set up housekeeping there. Maybe the only thing it's currently doing is flooding hapless remote victims with unwanted Internet traffic. And maybe also if it wanted to, it could pivot and start poking around inside your residential network. Oh, yeah. And just maybe that could end up being a high price to pay for the luxury of being notified by an app when the lint filter needs to be changed. So if these sorts of things are going on, you know, uh, like if these sorts of things, th these appliances are going to be connected to your network, again, give some thought to sequestering them on a separate guest LAN, which has no access to your high-value LAN. Most of today's consumer routers now offer this feature. That makes it easier to implement than it was back when we first started talking about the idea of LAN separation many years back. You know, remember my, my three dumb routers, you know, concept for how, how to uh, create isolated lands uh when when that feature was not already built into our routers well the or good better news is, yeah just don't connect it at all right just, exactly ask yeah. yourself do i really need and 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 here's the problem that like the this was thrown in to a washing machine by people who are more concerned about whether it actually gets your clothes clean than it being on the internet. So the internet is a throwaway for them. They're not going to be that concerned about the security of their own washing machine that they're shipping. This is not Cisco who is selling you a washing machine. You know, this is LG. And, so. and probably they have a module they put in all their appliances, right? This is just, you know, the right. LG internet of things module. Right. And, and it's we'll using figure code out sell it. from the dawn of the internet because, yeah. you know, it worked and right. they don't care. So, you know, the, the end user needs to care. Wow. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast or just click one of the links below.